Hey guys, 22 Soulful. I'm gonna be trying to run some uh, some kitchen appliances inside the uh, house off the solar generator. So I just want to give you a little shot of the panels here. That's just the uh, Harbor Freight 45 watt kit. That's all I have out here right now. Don't have any uh, other panels but that. And uh, my battery box. Uh, I'll show you my battery back while I'm running off of. But it's the same uh, 210 amp hour battery storage. But uh, I'll give you a shot of that just for uh, just for you guys to see. Alright guys, so there's a little shopping battery bank. Just two black batteries there. Green interstate battery. Um, sorry about it being a little little foggy almost. The camera out here is fogging up a little bit. But uh, that should be cleared up when I get in the house. Alright guys, so back in the house. This is the uh, blender here. The blender motor. Um, of my blender and we're gonna show you the specs of it right here Let's see hopefully you see it 3.5 amps at 120 volts So if you do the math on that volts times amps to give you your watts this blender uh, is going to be roughly 420 watts on high so we're gonna go ahead and uh, See if my little solar generator or my solar uh, power system could run it Pretty sure it can, but uh, we're just going to see. Anyways, now this is the first time I ever uh, tried to run this one, so I'm not sure if it's going to run or not. Alright guys, so I've got the uh, blender hooked up to my um, power inverter. You see my voltage here is at 12.8 volts. Uh, batteries haven't been charging too long, probably, probably about 20 minutes. They were sitting at 12.4, so if I turn off my panels... See it drops down to 12.6, so it's probably really 12.5 right now. But uh, <clears throat> with the panels on, it goes right back up to 12.8. Now I got my blender set on low right now, so let's go ahead and see if we'll be able to uh, be able to run it. This is, in my opinion, don't know for sure, but I'm going to assume this is going to be half the watts, so it's going to be roughly 210 watts on low. My battery voltage is at 12.7, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and put it on high. Low. High again. Okay, so you guys saw it was able to run it with no problem whatsoever. So that's pretty amazing. This is 420 watts. So that was really good. You see my battery voltage is holding steady at 12.5 right now. Go and unplug that. So uh, yeah, I was really surprised I was able to run that on low and high with no problem whatsoever. So, huh, that's pretty awesome. 420 watt blender running on solar power. Pretty amazing. Well, if you got any questions, feel free to comment. Um, you guys saw my panels out there, 45 watts, 210 amp hour battery bank, and um, my battery voltage starting out was at 12.4, at and then with a the charge for 20 minutes, it got up to 12.8, now it's back down at 12.5. So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching.